Hi there, I'm Matt Zambrano, and I am so excited to share with you recent Cutbacks' Zoom Hog Day. We had the idea for this project back when the pandemic first forced us all to shelter inside, and we began to realize that every day felt a little bit like Groundhog Day. So we reached out to our community and filmed this parody back in May. The film addresses themes like empathy and being a better member of your community, work that we have focused on in recent months, both inspired by and in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Please consider making a donation to the Loveland Foundation's Therapy Fund, which provides financial assistance to black women and girls, making therapy more affordable and accessible. They are an amazing organization doing incredible work and information on the Loveland Foundation, as well as a link to donate can be found in the description below. And now, without further ado, Zoom Hog Day. And if you don't believe me, take me by the hand. Can't you feel you warming up? Cause I'm your weatherman. Whoa, cause I'm your weatherman. I'm your weatherman. Oh, I'm your weatherman. Oh, then put your little hand in mine. Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, cause it's cold out there today. It's Groundhog Day. Get up and check that hog out there. Morning. Morning. Off to see the groundhog? Yes, I am. Do you think it's going to be an early spring? I'm predicting March 21st. That's when it always is. <laughs> Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? I slept alone, Mrs. Lancaster. <laughs> oh, you know there's talk of a blizzard. Mmm, a blizzard. Oh, do you want to talk about the weather, or are you just making chit-chat? Chit-chat. Hmm. Okay. Well, bye-bye. Uh, will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. Phil? Phil Connors? I thought that was you! Hi. How you doing? Thanks for watching. Now, don't tell me you don't remember me, because I sure as heck probably remember you. It's me! Ned! Ryerson! Needle nose, Ned, Ned the head. I did the belly button triple axel at the high school talent show. Ned Ryerson. Bang! Bang. <laughs> Strike up the music. Where have you been? Giant leech got me. Okay, it's groundhog time. Okay. On me in three, two, one. Once a year, the eyes of the nation turn to this tiny hamlet in western Pennsylvania to watch a master at work. The master? Punxsutawney Phil, the world's most famous weatherman, the groundhog, who as legend has it can predict the coming of an early spring. So I guess the question we all have to ask ourselves today is, does Phil feel lucky? <coughs> This February 2nd, at 7.20 and 30 seconds, Punxsutawney Phil, seer of seers, prognosticator of prognosticator, pooper in a little box with sand in it, emerged alert, but happily, and stated, in groundhog ease, I definitely see my shadow. Oh. I know, I know. Sorry, folks, looks like another six weeks of winter. On me again in three, two, one. This is one time television really fails to truly capture the excitement of a large squirrel predicting the weather. I, for one, am very excited that I was here to see it. From Gobbler's Knob and Punxsutawney, I'm Phil Connors. So long. Okay, wanna try it again without the sarcasm? We got it. I'm out of here. Then put your little hand in my Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties. It's Groundhog Day! Get up and check what that hog out there. You think it's gonna be an early spring? Didn't we do this yesterday? Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I can check with the kitchen. Ned Ryerson? Bang! Got it on 
the first time sharp as a tack. Now tell me, Phil, do you have life insurance? Because if you do, you could always use a little more. Am I right or am I right? Am I right? Something's going on. I don't know what to do. It's groundhog time. See, I knew you were going to say that. Ugh, I really feel weird. Well, what if there is no tomorrow? There wasn't one today. Hello? Hello? Then put your little hand in mine There ain't no hill or mountain we can't climb Okay, now tell me why you're too sick to work and it better be good. Rita, I'm reliving the same day over and over. Groundhog Day. Today. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. No, really. This is the third time. It's like yesterday never happened. Want my advice? I think you should get your head examined if you expect me to believe a stupid story like that, Phil. Then put your little rise and shine groundhog off to see the groundhog. Talk of a blizzard. Belly button triple axle. Looks like another six weeks of winter. Then put rise and groundhog. See the groundhog. A blizzard. Belly button triple. Another six weeks of winter. Then rise and Brown. groundhog. Blizzard. Belly button triple. Six weeks of winter. Six weeks of winter. Six weeks of winter. What would you do if you were stuck in the same place and everything was exactly the same and nothing that you did mattered? Well, that about sums it up for me. <laughs> Let me ask you something else. What if there was no tomorrow? No tomorrow, there, there'd be no consequences, no hangovers. You could do whatever you want. That's true. <laughs> you could do whatever you want. I was wondering, have you ever tried the artist's way? You know, there is a cold front moving in from the north, and it's going to come down into the south. Groundhog Day is a day of a groundhog. You think Carol Baskin killed her husband? <laughs> yeah, probably. Will there be any hot water tonight, Mrs. Lancaster? Oh, of course not. No, no, no. Here's my card. Oh my god, there is no groundhog. I ate the groundhog. How about those aliens, huh? Turns out they're real. Wow, you love lots of stuff. <laughs> Don't get fresh with me, Mrs. Lancaster, all right? Oh, oops. <laughs> am I right or am I right or am I right? Am I right or am I right or am I right? Hey! <laughs> Pulled out a little saddle and put it onto the groundhog and he jumped on and was like... Brum, 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 brum. Oh! Thanks, I was looking for that grilled cheese. So, uh, what do you think the chances are of getting out of town today? Man, so won't start. Larry's working on it. Wouldn't you know it. Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Hey, uh, barkeep, I'd like a perfect Manhattan. That's, uh, two fingers, gem bean, light on the sweet vermouth, and just a whisper of the dry. For you, miss? Sweet vermouth on the rocks of the twist, please. Right round up. Laser. Belly button. Uh, sweet vermouth, rocks with the twist, please. For you, miss? The same. That's my favorite drink. Mine, too. It always makes me think of Rome, the way the sun hits the buildings in the afternoon. Huh. Well, what should we drink to? To the groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Right, right up. Blizzard. Belly button. What should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. To world peace. To world peace. Do you ever have deja vu? Didn't you just ask me that?
You give your hand to me <laughs> And you say hello And I can't hardly speak <laughs> My heart is beating so What a wonderful night It is now I don't know, Phil I don't think we should do this I don't either on second thought, I do. It's a little fast for me. Don't spoil it, okay? We can see each other tomorrow. No, tonight. It has to be tonight. Phil! I could never love anyone like you, Phil, because you could never love anyone but yourself. That's not true. I don't even like myself. To kiss your lips and hold you Then put your little hand in my face. The campus. Rise and shine. Don't forget the booty. It's cold out there today. It's cold out there every day. Strike up. This is pitiful. A thousand people freezing their butts off, waiting to worship a rat. Ah, oh, I hate these people. Groundhogs, they used to mean something around here. Look, I got a winter prediction for you. It's going to be cold. It's gonna be gray, and it's gonna last you the rest of your life. There's no way this winter is ever going to end as long as this groundhog keeps seeing his shadow. He's gotta be stopped. And I've gotta be the one to stop him. Real good, Phil, real good. That guy's out of his gourd. All right, now you just gotta check your mirror. Just side of the eye, side of the eye. Yeah, that's it. Hey, hey, we're chasing us. Come on, make it fun. Yeah, <laughs> don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. Yeah. Might be okay. Well, no, probably not now. You're a god. I'm a god, not the god, I don't think. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to believe in me. You folks ready to order? Doris! This is Doris. Her brother-in-law, Carl, owns this place. She's worked here since she was 17. More than anything else in her life, she wants to see Paris before she dies. Oh boy, I would. What are you doing? This is Debbie and her fiance, a younger Michael Shannon. They're supposed to get married later this afternoon, but Debbie's getting cold feet. What? A lovely ring. This is Gus. He hates his life here and wishes he'd stayed in the Navy. <laughs> is this some kind of trick? Well, maybe the real god uses tricks. Maybe he's not omnipotent. He's just been around so long he knows everything. What about me, Phil? Do you know me? I know all about you. You like boats, but not the ocean. You go to the lake with your family every summer up in the mountains. There's a long wooden dock and a boathouse with boards missing. You're very generous. You're kind to strangers and children. Also, you're a sucker for French poetry. I studied 19th century French poetry in college. Oui, je sais. La fille que j'aimera et comme un vin qui se bonifiera un peu chaque matin. Do you speak French? Ben oui. How are you doing this? I told you, I wake up every day right here in Punxsutawney and it's always February 2nd and there's nothing I can do about it. Maybe I should spend the rest of the day with you as an objective witness just to see what happens. Is this what you do with eternity? Now you know. <laughs> the worst part of it is tomorrow you'll have forgotten all of this and you'll go back to treating me like a jerk. No. All right, I am a jerk. No, you're not. Ah, it doesn't make any difference. Sometimes I feel like I don't even exist anymore. I don't know, Phil. Maybe it's not a curse. It just depends on how you look at it. Huh. Then 
Put your little hand in mine. There ain't no hill or mountain we can't climb, babe. I got you. Babe. Morning. Buongiorno, signore. Mwah. Uh, you off to see the groundhog? Winter, slumbering in the open air, wears on his smiling face a dream of spring. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ned Ryerson? <laughs> I've missed you so much. I don't know where you have to be later, but can you call in sick? Ah, listen, Phil, it's so nice to see you, but, uh, I gotta go. When Chekhov saw the long winter, he saw a winter bleak and dark, bereft of hope. But standing here, amongst the people of Punxsutawney, and basking in the warmth of their hearths and hearts, I couldn't imagine a better fate than a long and lustrous winter. From Punxsutawney, this is Phil Connors. So long. Thank you. Thank you. How was that for you, too? Hey, man. Trust me. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Oh, Phil, that was surprising. I didn't know you were so versatile. I surprise myself sometimes. Well, where are you going? Would you like to get a cup of coffee? I'd love to. Uh, can I have a rain check? I've got some errands to run, OK? Phil, er errands? What errands? Shit. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Ugh, you little brat. You have never thanked me. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> it's only a flat tire. Whoa! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake. Oh, thank you, young man. It's all right, ladies. I, I had the tire and the jack, so it'll just be a minute. Just sit tight, like you're in a nice, warm lap. Yeah. Yeah. Call an ambulance or call 911 or, or a lawyer or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I think that did it, huh? You safe again? Look. I know their bread is delicious here, but you don't have to eat the whole basket at once, okay? Am I right? All right, Iphigenia, make sure he stays safe. Have a good night, you folks. Bye. Thank you. Hey, Rita, wait right there. I'll come to you, okay? Uh. Oh, whoa, you are way over there. Why don't I make my way to you through the party? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Coming through. Uh, just excuse me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Meg. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> No idea you play piano like that. Hey, you know, I uh, I learned all sorts of things hanging out in this town. You want to get out of here? I I'd love to, yeah. All right, it's ready. I'm going to show it to you, all right? Three, two, one. Oh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. How did you do that? I know your face so well. I could have done it with my eyes closed. It's lovely. I don't know what to say. I do. No matter what happens tomorrow for the rest of my life, I'm happy now, because I love you. I think I'm happy too. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 
<laughs> Stop it. Something's different. Good or bad. Anything different is good. <laughs> but this could be really good. Mm. Hold on, I gotta check something. They're gone. They're all gone. Ew, what is this? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just the end of a very long day. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Well, it's almost like being in love. With a smile on my face For the whole human race Well, it's almost like being in love When that music of life seems to be Like a bell that is ring a ling for me From the way that I feel When that bell starts to peal I would swear I was falling Swear I was falling Cause it's almost like being in love <laughs>